so here we go video from the car how are you YouTube are you doing well are you treating yourself well are you living a good life is your mind nagging you about anything let me help you with that okay I notice that my brain works a lot like a smartphone what does that mean smartphones give you notifications Right? They say, hey, you have an email. Hey, this person texted you. Hey, listen. Right? Taps you on the shoulder. So your phone will remind you until you dismiss this notification. Your phone will remind you of these things until you tell it to let it go. And we've talked before how a thought can, it can be recurring to you. Maybe it's something painful, maybe it's something pestering, maybe it's a problem that's unsolved, an interaction you didn't like, whatever it was, you've got something on your mind that's bothering you. Before, we've talked about replacing that thought, right? You're thinking about bears. Instead, we're gonna think about wolves. We're gonna think about something else, okay? Oh, I'm so focused on this conversation that was frustrating. I'm gonna focus instead on this product I need to deliver to a client. Or I'm going to focus instead on something I enjoy. Right? That's a very valuable technique. It's very good to use so that you don't distract yourself with misery. You instead try to focus on what you want to do with, with your life. <laughs> what do you want in your day? Um, but the issue there is, like my brain, like the smartphone, it comes up with a notification. Your subconscious mind rises from the depths with like a platter and on the platter, it's like, look it, look, it's the, the problem that's unsolved or, or the issue that's unresolved or whatever it is. Um, do you remember this? Could, uh, could we work on it? Like in the future, you might trip on it again. So I just wanted to bring this to your attention. Um, here's this problem, right? Some people might describe this as anxiety. Like they're, they're constantly thinking about what could go wrong. Or they're thinking of something negative in their life. Or whatever it is, your subconscious mind keeps coming back to it. You find yourself thinking about this regularly. Whatever the thing is that's wrong, okay? The way to fix that, something that works for me, right? I find this very useful. Hopefully it works for you as well. Something that can help fix that is you have to identify those moments that that problem comes to mind. You, we, we used bears and wolves earlier. Let's keep it simple, right? Every time you're thinking about bears, you need to actively tell yourself that this is not important. The bear is not important. The bear does not matter. Whatever that thing is, that's what you actively have to reprogram your subconscious mind with thinking. Because it's, it's alerting you because it thinks that thing, it thinks the bear is important. It thinks, hey, um, I need to point out these problems because I'm helpful, because I'm a human brain, a pattern-seeking entity that is good at solving problems. Here's a problem. Here's an issue. Did I do well? Don't beat yourself up because you keep getting these notifications. <laughs> Don't beat yourself up because your subconscious mind brings these things up. Instead, notice when you're thinking about bears and actively tell yourself it's not important. This does not matter. It's as simple as that. Maybe you visualize it like a stamp. You know that, that uh, rectangle outlined in red and then the, the red writing within it? The red writing, let it say, this doesn't matter. Every time you're thinking of a bear, stamp that onto the bear. This doesn't matter. <laughs> Anytime you're thinking of any aspect of the, of the situation or subject that's bothering you, this doesn't matter. Luke, this isn't important. This isn't important. You can replace it then. Think about wolves. Hey, wolves. Wolves are important. That's what I want to focus on. I want to focus on that product for the client. I want to focus on that goal that I have. I'm in the gym. I want to run these three miles. I'm focused on these three miles I want to run. I'm not thinking about that thing that causes me pain, is unsolved, can't be dealt with right now. Because that's not important. This is important. Does that make sense? You're actively reprogramming your brain because that's all it is. It's, it's a program running in your mind saying, here's another issue. Did you fix it yet? Uh, could we fix it? Um, I brought this to your attention and you need to redirect 
that attention. You need to retrain yourself to focus elsewhere. Over time, those notifications will pop up less. They'll pop up less strongly. You'll get better at identifying when the bear notification pops up. Your brain will be like, bears, ah! You'll be like, yeah, yeah, not important. <laughs> Going back over here. It'll become easier to, to swipe that notification away, to dismiss it and move on. But you have to actively retrain yourself. It might seem ridiculous at first. It might be frustrating or seem like a chore, but it is 100% worth it. If you feel embarrassed, talk about it. <laughs> like if someone catches you, you say it out loud, right? <laughs> You're like, this is not important, Luke. And someone's like, what are you saying right now? Just explain. I'm training myself to let go of something that's bothering me. That's okay. That's badass. You're actively taking on managing your mental health. Good for you. That's a good thing. And if anyone tries to shame you for that, you tell them, not appropriate. <laughs> I'm taking care of me. You do you. Thanks for the advice. I'm going this way. Don't let it bother you. And don't let these notifications bother you. Just stamp them. Not important. Moving on. I'm going to live my life the way I want to live it. I'm going to do the things I want to do. And I'm not going to be distracted by any bears. Thanks for watching. And if I may.